Eventually, a character, after moving in the space, will make an exit. And exits are difficult in that they create challenges as well for sight lines. And there is always meaning in an exit. So when you go to make an exit, I have a door back here. Is this the best possible move? No, actually it isn't. It may be the most practical move, but it's not the best dramatic or theatrical move because we can't see what's going on. Again, this is where you'll employ your roundhouse. You'll come up like this. This gets you around very quickly. You can say your goodbyes, and then for the rest of the move, going to the door, you're wide open. Once you get to the door, there's often some problems. Many actors will simply open the door and go out. This is not, again, a strong choice. What you need to do is you need to open the door and you need to catch the door on this side and step up because really on exits we want to watch what the reactions are and a good exit in a well-written text will also have some lines you know where to find me when you're ready to talk we'll talk many actors will make all the mistakes they'll walk with their back to They'll say their line, when you want to talk to me, talk to me, you'll find me in the pub across the street. That's really lousy. So all the mistakes, back to saying my line, when you're ready to talk, you know where to find me, and going out and continuing with the back to. The other key to a great exit is actually the stop. To me, you should never actually just walk off stage. You should get up, move. When you're ready to talk, you know where to find me. Open that door. I'll be in the bar across the street. So it's always wide open. I'm going to go through the technique of working with the door in slow motion. Exit, open yourself up, sight line's good, the whole front row can see me, there's my goal, open up the door, let it pass behind you, try to control this area, say your final goodbyes, step up, afterthoughts now, and leaving. Is anybody home? Supper ready? Did you walk the dog? Whatever. All upstage, all through the door. Not interesting. Control of the door. Anybody home? Hey, did you walk the dog? What's for supper? Where is everybody? Always, always ironing out the movement, the control of it, the mechanics with the realities that the text comes first and those impulses are all important. Entrance in slow motion. The doors open up, sight lines beautiful. Step down, go with the door. Go with the door so that you're walking over here. Again, it's this amazing little switch we do behind our backs. Right here. Just make sure you're in control of this. And then, lean in. This is where your gravitational centers work. Watch that door. But I'm still open and I'm talking. Hey, did you hear the New York Rangers? Close the door. Open it up physically and proceed to the sofa. At least coming from upstage, you've got many choices because sight lines aren't an issue, so come down and around. And you've established yourself in the space and you've made an excellent entrance. We're going to look at entrances that come through the wings. The mistake that actors make is they come on in one fell swoop, constant movement and start talking to the other character. Frank, you've left your garbage can by the side of the street for the last three weeks. That's against municipal laws. 
Basically, I'm looking for Frank. So in the entrance, you actually come in carrying the stimulus. Where the hell is he? You see him, so you need that stop. And then your energy changes. The first energy is the energy that's outside the stage that is basically, I've got to catch up with him today. So that's the energy you're carrying. But the moment you arrive in the space, you meet, need to locate him. So that's your next stimulus. Where is the person or the thing I'm looking for? When you see that they're there, that again changes your energy. So you have all these opportunities when you make an entrance to build off of additional impulses. So you come in, there he is, and then Frank, as opposed to many inexperienced actors. Frank, you left your garbage can. You don't have the time to actually build that relationship, but more importantly, you don't show all the different levels of impulse that go through our system when we are actually dealing with real life behavior. Mm -hmm.